in antibiotic assay second example is streptomycin bioassay so the basic protocol that we have learned in case of penicillin bioassay so same protocol is there for measuring the amount of streptomycin present in the fermentation broth so here only the difference is the type of antibiotic the basic methodology is same that is disc diffusion assay as we have discussed earlier for streptomycin the data analysis observation and determination so all these sorts of protocols are same so let us quickly go through this streptomycin bioassay so the objective aim of this practical is to estimate streptomycin antibiotic from given sample by well diffusion assay or disc diffusion assay regarding the principle and introduction of biological assays we have already discussed so it is a type of biological assay that is diffusion assay which is a method used to quantitate antibiotics like penicillin and streptomycin here are the requirements the first requirement is standard reference compound so here the standard reference compound is streptomycin so streptomycin is available in market in this form this is the company name or trade name ambistrine so it is streptomycin injection you can see the quantity is mentioned here uh, this vial it contains 0.75 grams of streptomycin in this vial so here we measure concentration of streptomycin or quantity in micrograms that we need to remember then sterile base agar plates if we are using pour plate technique sterile base agar uh, sorry sterile base agar butts which are poured into the plates and then sterile seed agar butt which is inoculated with the, the indicator organism and then poured onto the plate so directly we can make use of a solidified growth medium and these plates can be spreaded with the suspension of indicator organism then sterile phosphate buffer in this case the phosphate buffer is having ph of 6.8 which is again a phosphate buffer so using different concentrations of sodium dihydrogen phosphate and disodium hydrogen phosphate we can prepare buffer using uh, different quantities of these two so that will give you phosphate buffer which is sterilized then empty petri dishes if you are using pour plate technique otherwise we can make use of the ready made plates with agar medium sterile pipettes for the preparation of dilutions addition of uh, suspension sterile wetman paper filter dish this we have already discussed 24 hours old culture of indicator organism that is the same one bacillus subtilis atcc 6633 and then unknown sample of streptomycin from which you want to determine the concentration of streptomycin and then sterile dilution tubes so the protocol is same first we have to proceed for the preparation of a standard graph so standard graph will have a two axis one axis will have concentration of streptomycin and other axis will have inhibition zone diameter so in order to generate that graph the first step is to prepare the dilutions 
and in order to prepare dilutions uh, you need to have a stock of streptomycin antibiotic so here the stock of streptomycin antibiotic that we are going to prepare is uh, so this is uh, uh, it should be 200 this is wrong uh, it should be 200 so while writing in your notebook write it 200 micrograms per ml now let us see how it is prepared so we have streptomycin vial which contains 0.75 grams that means 750,000 micrograms of streptomycin in this vial so we'll transfer these contains into 100 ml of sterile phosphate buffer so 100 ml contains 750,000 micrograms of streptomycin then what will be the concentration in 1 ml so 100 corresponds to 750,000 microgram so 1 ml corresponds to how much that will come to 7500 micrograms so 1 ml contains will contain 7500 so this is the concentration of stock A from this stock A we have to prepare stock B of 200 micrograms per ml concentration so again here we can make use of the formula of RT by G so R is 200 total quantity we have to prepare is 100 it can be anything so for example 100 so total is 100 uh, required is 200 so 200 into 100 divided by G G is given given is this 7500 so using this formula of RT by G in order to prepare 100 ml solution of a streptomycin having concentration of 200 micrograms per ml uh, how much you need to transfer from stock A it will be you can calculate this 2.67 ml of stock A is taken and the volume is made up to 100 ml that will give you stock B having concentration of 200 micrograms per ml so we'll use this stock for the preparation of dilution scheme now as I told you earlier that during examination you will be asked to draw a dilution scheme and in order to prepare a dilution scheme what you should know are two things first is the range of antibiotic concentration uh, which you are going to take for testing and second concentration of stock solution so you need to ask for that you need to ask to the examiner that what is the concentration of stock examiner will tell you what is the concentration of stock so in this case it is 200 micrograms per ml because if you don't know the concentration of stock you will not be able to uh, write dilution scheme so dilution scheme as we have learned earlier that the first column is tube number second concentration of streptomycin so here we have decided that uh, we'll be testing in the range of 20 to 100 so 20 40 60 80 and 100 20 40 60 and 100 so uh, you will write in this column 20 40 60 80 and 100 then third column is streptomycin stock means from stock B how much streptomycin solution you have to take third fourth column sterile phosphate buffer how much diluting agent you have to take and this final uh, volume it can be anything it can be 2 ml 3 ml 5 ml 10 ml 20 ml 50 ml anything here we have taken it as 5 ml okay now you have to use a simple formula of RT by G for example you know the concentration of stock and you know that you want to prepare a concentration of 20 micrograms per ml so you have to use the formula of RT by G 
so r is required is 20 t is total total volume is 5 and given given is the stock concentration so stock concentration is 200 so what you will get is 0.5 ml this is 0.5 ml so 0.5 ml plus 4.5 ml of buffer total volume will be 5 ml so this is how you have to calculate for all so the answer that we obtain from rt by g will be 1 1.5 2 and 2.5 and correspondingly the total should come 5 ml and accordingly you have to write the values of phosphate buffer so this is how you have to prepare the dilution scheme now we have these solutions of streptomycin concentration then like we have discussed earlier pour the suspension onto the agar medium and then spread it after spreading uh, the plate is now ready for the inoculation or for the placing of uh, the disc so you have filter paper disc which are sterile with the help of sterile forcep you have to pick up the disc of course the forcep is sterilized by dipping it into alcohol and flaming it uh, pick it up and then remove the cotton remove the cotton aseptically within the two burners and then dip this disc into this solution containing 20 micrograms per ml and then place it onto the agar plate so here also you have to mark the plates from the bottom and then for transfer those plates after placing so what disc you are placing one two three four five and the fifth one uh, the sixth one is your unknown concentration so dip a disc in unknown concentration and place it onto the uh, appropriately onto the plate uh, here you have six dilutions so you can take three plates and uh, these three plates as we have discussed earlier one plate you can make three sections another plate you can make three sections and you can label them accordingly so the plates will be then uh, transferred at 4 degrees celsius for pre-diffusion like we have discussed earlier and then these plates after pre-diffusion will go to incubator at 30 degrees celsius for 24 hours after 24 hours the antibiotic will diffuse in the radial fashion in all the directions and it will produce a zone of inhibition according to the concentration this is low concentration zone this is high concentration zone and accordingly uh, standard will give you the inhibition zones and uh, unknown will also give you inhibition zone so the next step is to measure the inhibition zone diameter uh, say for example the inhibition zone diameters are like this now in order to increase the resolution as we have discussed let us square it so the values will be like this now your data is ready you can plot you can prepare a standard graph standard graph of uh, sorry again there is a mistake here it should be streptomycin here okay it should be streptomycin uh, it should be micrograms per ml i'm sorry for that so you have two parameters now concentration of streptomycin and inhibition zone diameter you can prepare a standard graph similarly you have processed the unknown sample uh, which has generated inhibition zone of 18 mm millimeters if you square it it will be 324 so this 324 you have to compare uh, this 324 with within these values and wherever it fits that is your concentration of unknown so first we'll prepare a graph 
you can see so there are no mistakes in this graph this is step two mycin biase graph this is on y axis it is inhibition zone diameter which is in mm square and on x axis it is step to mycin concentration in micrograms per ml 20 40 60 80 100 and these are the corresponding inhibition zone diameters which are in square so there is a gradation so as the concentration increases the inhibition zone diameter increases now you see uh, these are the points which are not in straight line still we have to draw a best fit line so you can do it uh, in excel also if you are doing it in excel let me tell you one thing that this r value uh, it should be more than 95 if it is less than 95 then it indicates that uh, this gradation uh, is not proper so here we can see the value is 0 0.94 that means it is 94 percent that means this gradation is poor it is not good okay so uh, if these points are in sequential gradation and gradient then this value will be higher if it is 99 percent then your graph or your uh, uh, response is perfect okay let it be so here uh, we are not going to the details of this this you can get it uh, in excel when you start using microsoft excel you will learn about that you can plot this graph on simple graph paper so you know how to plot the graph on simple graph graph paper so simple graph paper will give you all this and you have to draw a best fit line then uh, what what was your value your value was uh, 324 so this 324 you have to plot it uh, on this linear part of the line and this will be the concentration of uh, that antibiotic streptomycin in the given unknown sample so it will come around 55 to 56 if you are do it in, doing it in excel you get a equation for uh, line it is y is equal to mx plus c so uh, you can directly put the value of y that is 324 here and you can calculate so that you can do if you are doing plotting this graph in excel but manually if you are doing it on simple graph paper you have to just place the value plot this value here and approximately this will be your concentration of streptomycin so your aim was to determine the concentration of streptomycin in given sample by this diffusion assay or bioassay and your result is the concentration of streptomycin in unknown sample is found to be 50 sorry 56 micrograms per ml